Hello and welcome to another pre-recorded worship service for Clogher and Glenhoy Presbyterian Churches. This service has been recorded for Sunday the 13th of June. Wherever you are from, as you watch this, or indeed whenever you watch this, I trust and pray that you will be blessed and that God will be glorified. Just a couple of just announcements before we begin our service. The, the midweek Bible study, will God willing, take place this incoming Wednesday, that is the 16th of June, via Zoom at 8pm. The login details, as well as the relevant study notes, can be found on the church websites. Sunday the 13th of June is our Children's Day. So, whilst I am leading this service, Colin Tinsley from Hope for Youth Ministries is the main speaker. I'd like to thank Colin for pre-recording his message and sending it to me, <clears throat> to be included in this web talk. Now we've come to worship God, so let us <clears throat> pause for a moment uh, just to refocus our minds. And to do so, let us read from God's word. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 13 and 14, we read the following. The people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. These famous words by Jesus remind us that we receive a salvation when we have a childlike faith in Christ. In other words, when we take him at his word. And trust in him completely. Let us pray a song in God now with an opening hymn. Which as it is children's day. Is a little higher tempo than we may be used to. And this is a song called Thank You.
We're now going to come before God in prayer. So let us bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we have been reminded in our opening prayers how much we need to thank you for all that you have done for us. You created us on this beautiful world in which we live. The colours that we see, the different types, sizes and shapes of the plants, insects, animals, birds and fish are all the work of your hands. And they remind us about how awesome you really are. We thank you also for the fact that we are not strangers to you. That even if other people do not notice us or know us, you never have to wonder who we are. You never forget our name and you always know what we're thinking. You even know what we will say even before the words form on our lips. We thank you that even though other people may make fun of us or reject us, you never do. But rather, you love us with an everlasting and unconditional love. We thank you that your love was proven to us by your Son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life as a ransom for sin and rose again from the grave. We thank you that if we put our trust in him and ask for your forgiveness, you promise to forgive us for whatever we have done. Who are we, O oh Lord, that you are so willing to forgive us when we humbly ask for your forgiveness? Who are we, O oh Lord, that you should be so kind and generous towards us despite how often we doubt you and fail you. Heavenly Father, forgive us for our sin, we pray. Forgive us for doubting and disbelieving you. Forgive us for wanting to be saved by you, but not to serve you. Forgive us for how we have dishonoured you by what we have said and done or by what we have failed to say and do. Help us, O Lord, to stop sinning as we do and to seek first your kingdom and its righteousness. Hear this our prayer, for it is in our Saviour's name that we pray. Amen. Now normally, during Children's Day, the children and young people have a large part to play in the service and thankfully we have been able to record them so that you'll still get to see and hear from some of them. So what follows now are recordings of the children and young people from both Clahar and Glenhoy churches. And I would like to thank the children and young people, their parents and the Sunday school teachers etc who organised all of this.
talk to him about the bad. He helps me with my troubles. He's the best friend I ever had. I tell him all my secrets and things I plan last night. I ask him for his blessing to show me what to do. My friend is always with me, no matter where I go. I know he's always, he always loves me because he told me so. Hey Lloyd, from my friend, for the world church, for the from my friends, for the from my family. Um, I am a man. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do blows from it. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. For what the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9.
God is so good. God is so good to me. prayer of intercession and the young people of Clogher Presbyterian Church will lead us in this prayer. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we come today with thankful hearts for all you have done for us. We give you thanks for our Sunday school and Bible class. We give you thanks for the dedicated Sunday school teachers and for Mrs. Wilson, our Sunday school superintendent. Father, we pray that you would fill our Sunday school teachers with your Holy Spirit and guide them as they teach us about your, you each week. Father, we thank you for Hope for Youth Ministries. We thank you for the blessing their recordings have been to the work for, of our children's church. May you bless Colin and Joanna with continued health and strength and give them everything they need to continue in your work. Father, help us to be bold and not ashamed to say we are your children. We pray that today you will speak afresh to everyone here. In your precious and holy name. Amen. Now we're going to hear from God's Word. So if you have your Bibles at hand, can I encourage you to open them at our scripture reading, which is taken from the Old Testament, the book of Psalms, and that well-known Psalm, Psalm 23. Can I encourage you to open them and follow along as I read it to you. Psalm 23 This is the word of the Lord. 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You know my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. And we end a reading there, and thank God for this reading from his truth. You're now going to hear from our guest speaker, Colin Tinsley. When he is finished, I will announce the closing praise. And after that, we'll close with the benediction. G'day boys and girls, it's Colin here, Colin Tinsley. You might have seen me on YouTube. And we're going to speak on Psalm 23. And some of the old Hebrew words, the original words, we're going to break it right down. And it might even be a surprise for you, hidden in Psalm 23. It's like an anchor. It gives you so much hope whenever you trust in the lovely Lord Jesus. So Psalm 23 is about a shepherd called David. David's a shepherd looking after his sheep. And as he's sitting under a tree, walking with his sheep, what does he say to make it so, so special? We're going to break it right down. There are at least 11 names for God right embedded within the words of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So what are these words? Jehovah, whenever we say the word Jehovah, we're thinking of the name of God. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Ra, and Jehovah said, can you? But there's more than that. So here's Psalm 23, written down for boys and girls. This was uh, something we came across, was given to me. And the Lord is my shepherd, so they'll say Jehovah Ra. The Lord is my shepherd. And what does that mean, etc. Et, et so that's the first one. We're going to go right down in the Word of God, the Bible. There are just six verses in Psalm 23. And we're going to find where God is in the shepherd's psalm. So imagine a field with the sheep, and there's a shepherd under the tree. There's a sheep eating the grass. What does this say? The first one, the Lord is my shepherd, or Jehovah Ra. Whenever you think of a wee sheep, all alone in the field, his best friend becomes a shepherd. Because the little lamb, the little sheep, knows the shepherd loves him, cares for him, protects him, feeds him, all those things. And this is a picture of you. A picture of me, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God, so I not only know the shepherd, but I know he cares for me, he loves me. And for me as a sheep, Jesus then is my shepherd. He's a good shepherd, the great shepherd, the one, the great shepherd, the good shepherd who gave his life for the sheep. Nowadays, a shepherd would not die to give a sheep life, but Jesus did die to give us life. So the psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. Is it your shepherd tonight? It's easy to say these words. It's easy to imagine these stories. But can you honestly say in your heart, the Lord is my shepherd. Jehovah Ra. That's the first one then. Jehovah Ra, the Lord is my shepherd. And what a lovely way David, the psalmist, was able to start. The Lord, my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Or I am a Christian. That's what he's able. I'm a child of God. The second one then is Jehovah Jireh, or my provider. I love this here. This is when the Lord feeds, the Lord looks after his people. And whenever you get a gift, whenever you get food given to you, provided for you, whether it's a good day, nice food, whatever, you can say in your heart, God has provided Jehovah Jireh. It's a lovely one. God is my provider. The Bible says in everything give thanks. And we should never take food for granted, life for granted, air for granted, water for granted. The shepherd was able to say, not only is the Lord my provider, not only does God provide, but he said, I, I shall not be in want. Sometimes we can all have a disease, a gimme disease. 
give me this, give me that, give me the other, and never be satisfied. But the shepherd said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In other words, when I have got God as my shepherd, as my saviour, there's nothing else in this world I need or I want or even desire. Because when I've got the Lord Jesus Christ, I've got everything. And it's always good to acknowledge God in everything you get in life. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord provides. The next one is Jehovah Shalom or the Lord our peace. Do you know boys and girls, lots of people don't have peace today. Their lives are in turmoil, so much trouble, so much pain, anxiety, all these things. And it's a lovely thing when you've got God in your heart. It gives you something that we can't sometimes explain, sometimes comprehend because it's called peace. The peace that passes all understanding. Jehovah Shalom are the God, the Lord, my peace. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still or the quiet waters. Imagine a wee sheep in a field, lovely green grass, lovely fresh water. The wee sheep's got everything it needs for life and for living. And also knows the shepherd is right there, watching over, protecting it, looking after it. So Jehovah Shalom, the Lord, my peace. I love this one here, God our healer, Jehovah Rophi, or Rafi, uh, God my healer. Sometimes we're a lot of pain, a lot of turmoil, a lot of trouble, and our, sometimes our hearts can be broken due to a family situation or whatever, and God is the wonderful healer. He's a great physician, the Bible talks about. A doctor, a nurse can do so much for your, your human body, but God is a great healer of healing broken hearts. So here it is, the Lord is, my, the Lord is my healer. He restores my soul, Jehovah Rophi. So boys and girls, whenever we think about this here, uh, David had people look, running after him, trying to kill him, pursue him, destroy him, affect him, hurt him, whatever, bully him, whatever. And when he's sitting there with his little sheep, as his shepherd looking after them, caring for them, and lots of turmoil going on in his life, as he thinks about the shepherd, as he thinks about God, he says, he restoreth my soul. And sometimes God looks, loves it when we just quieten down, think about him, and then he just quietly restores our soul and gives us so much peace in our hearts. Jehovah said, can you? I love this one, another name of God, or it means my righteousness. Our God is always right. God is never wrong because to do wrong can be sin and God cannot sin. It's impossible for God to sin. Jehovah said, can you? Or it means righteousness, the Lord of righteousness. He guides, he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Or in a simple way, whenever we think of Jehovah said, can you? Or the Lord of righteousness. In other words, God is the right He's the Lord of justice. He likes correctness. He likes things done orderly, decently, correctly. There's no scamming or scheming with God. There's no falsehood with God. There's no deceit with God. So anything that's wrong is opposite to God. God's, God loves it when it's pure, when it's right, when it's righteous. And he says, the Lord, my righteous, the path of the, the right path or the path of righteousness following God. It's a lovely one to think about. Jehovah said, can you? God is always right. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there. Do you know so many people live in fear? The Bible talks about fear not, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Sometimes children can be afraid at night time. I say if you're afraid at night time, the best thing to do is put the light on because light eliminates, takes away the darkness. And that's why Jesus is the light of the world. Eliminates darkness, eliminates sin, because he can take it all away. Because what he done on the cross accomplishes that. And it's just absolutely wonderful. The Lord is right there. So whenever you're afraid, the wonderful thing about being a child of God, being a Christian, is having the absolute assurance that God is always with me. Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art, or you are with me. So many people live in fear, natural surroundings, family problems. Some people die, for example. So much fear, uncertainty, and the Lord comes in and he's just present himself, fills the atmosphere with his presence, 
and the presence of God is the most beautiful, wonderful thing. And God is present everywhere at the same time. Such a wonderful, awesome God we serve. Jehovah Ezer, oh, the Lord is my helper. So then can we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. So I will uh, have no fear. What can people do to me? Sometimes we're afraid what some people might say, what some people might do. But remember the words of the shepherd, Jehovah Ezer, or the Lord is my helper. Look here, the Lord my help. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. Here we have the protection of God. The sheep, we, we sheep doesn't need to be afraid because a shepherd is there looking after the lambs from the bears, the lions, the tigers, the thieves, the weather, whatever it is, the shepherd is there to protect the sheep. That's what the Lord Jesus does with us. He protects us. He cares for us. He promises never to leave us. Jehovah is our, the Lord, my help. Or the Lord my uh, helper. Jehovah Nissi, God our banner. What a lovely thought. His banner over me is love. Whenever you fly your fly, it's a sign I belong to Jesus. I'm a Christian. I stand for God. I'm not ashamed. I'm not embarrassed. I love being a Christian. And God is my banner. What a lovely thought. Whenever we think the Lord is my standard bearer, he's a standard of victory. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Whenever the enemy comes, they need to know you belong to Jesus. And they're going to attack you with their words, with their mocking, with making fun of you, whatever it is. But you must stand strong, stand firm and stand up for Jesus all the time. The Lord is my banner. And he promises always to be with his people. What a lovely thought. Jehovah McKinney's here. The Lord makes me holy, we could say. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. The word for this is sanctification, which means dying on the sin. Jehovah McKinney's. We could call this one here. And if we look at it a little bit closer, Jehovah McKinney's, the Lord of my holiness or my sanctification. A sign of a Christian is they will die on the sin. They will never be sinless, but they will sin less and less and less. Because the less you sin, the more you love God. And the more you sin, the further you'll go away from God. It works together and you anoint my head with oil. Oil is a picture of the Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Come on within the believer, within the Christian, within the, the child of God, and he cleanses you, he makes you pure, and he loves he loves holiness. So it's all about sanctification. Jehovah in Kedis. It's a work in progress every single day. When you do something wrong, you sin, you let God down, tell him you're sorry, and start keep and go and keep going on for God as best you can. Jehovah manna. I love the word manna. It talks about bread. It talks about food. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. If you take my bread, you'll never hunger, he talks about. And here it says, my cup overflows. So much food. Uh, in other words, you, you know, whenever you think physically, so much food you can keep eating, so much drink you can keep drinking. Your cup's overflowing. And that's like God. He never just, he just doesn't give you a little bit of himself. He gives you all of himself, overflowing with the love of God, with the thoughts of God. And it's just wonder, wonderful to, to be saturated with the great and the wonderful shepherd. What a picture of God's love whenever we think of the shepherd and the sheep and Christ and his people. Jehovah, manna, my cup overflows. And then how does say Jehovah, chillic. Or chilling, a little bit difficult to say, to think about. But really what it means is, the Lord, my inheritance, Jehovah, uh, chilling, surely goodness and mercy or love will follow me all the days of, of, uh, of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. My inheritance, just like you have your home, you feel safe and secure in your home. The psalmist says, out of everything in the world, where I love to be is in the house of God. And I will dwell there forever. The house of God represents a place where we come to worship God and pray to God and praise the name of God. And it's a place you continually want to be, to be built up to be strengthened, to make friends with other Christian people and to fellowship mercy and love and goodness all the days of my life, not just today, forever. He must say, my inheritance with God is forever. And every day of my life, I want to get as close to this shepherd 
as I possibly can be. Just like a wee lamb comes right up to the shepherd, that's what God wants us to do. Get close to him, fall in love with him. If you're not a Christian, put your trust in him. Ask him to forgive you, to wash away, to rescue you, to save you from all your sin and start your journey with God. What a lovely picture. The Lord is my shepherd. The shepherd said, I shall not want. A lovely picture summarizing Psalm 23. There's the wee lamb looking for the shepherd. And the shepherd says to the wee lamb, stay close to me on all of this I will do for you. You wander away, you're going to get lost, you're going to get hurt, you're going to have problems, but you need to stay close to the shepherd and I will watch over you. And that's what God says, follow me all the days of your life, stay close and watch over you, I protect you, I love you with unconditional love. What a picture of the lovely shepherd and Psalm 23 whenever we think of the names of God. I trust that has helped you, it's blessed you and it'll help your journey with God go from strength to strength. Thank you for watching. Now let us worship God in our final praise which is a praise song called Hero of the Faith.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all forevermore. Amen.